Hi. <laughs> wow. It's so nice to see you again. Yes. Really nice to see you again too. <laughs> so, how come you decided to see me today? Well, um, let's just say I wanted to see your pretty face again. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, thank you for the picture. Yeah. Do you want to tell me something about it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I just captured you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice, right? I've never known you as a photographer, you know? Well, um... As friends, you discover new things. And if you really care about your friends, you help them discover their hidden abilities. Wow. Mm-hmm. But with um, six years of experience in a real estate agency, why? Why? Why a photographer? It's, uh, well, um, you know, all my life I've always looked at the world from the eyes of people. But now with these lenses, I, I can capture moments, beautiful smiles, personality. Um, <clears throat> I have to go now. I got wine for us. <laughs> oh, no, let's do it another time. Um, I have to be home before my husband comes. I, I promise we're going to do this again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Take it back? Yes. <laughs> you, should be, you should be a model. I wonder why you did that. You think so? Yes. Okay. Take your shoulder, this, this one, to the back, like chest out. Huh. God. You got it? I got it. Okay, you want to try something else? Or maybe you, you want me to stand? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> okay, I can make do with that. Cool. Yes, I agree. Okay. Okay, just now. So you will let me share time. <laughs> Let me see. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Nice, eh? I wow. really like it. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this one. Yeah. And I love this too. Okay, I can take a more picture then. Cool. Um, sit in. Um, I want to get mostly your face. So you sit down this time. Okay. And, uh, okay, um, can you sit down facing the blue? Cool. Yeah, more like that. Chest out. <laughs> then then. laugh just the way you did it now, like laugh, laugh like the wall did not to you. The wall did not to you. Oh boy. 
Wow, that was wonderful, but a bit stressful going out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just trying to pick up pieces of my life and put them together and see where it takes me to. And I salute your courage. I salute you too. <laughs> you know, life has taught me that not every closed door is actually locked. Sometimes you just need to push. I agree with you. I'm, I'm very happy that you finally found your passion that you can call um, a profession, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, you are one bunch of uh, inspiration. Um, I have to go now. Everything. You know, it's very difficult telling you the truth. What truth? Look, we share a lot of things in common. Same emotions. Same passion. Same career. Drive. We laugh at the same thing. And now. And now what? Never mind. And now what? Love. Donald, the only man that I love is Collins, my husband. But you get to spend every night with him forever. He has you forever. But I have you now. I it is married. just the two of us in here. I am married, Donald. I can't do this. This is not right. I can't. Hey, Evelyn. I want to wake up every morning looking into your eyes. I want to breathe the same breath as you. I want to look into your eyes and Oh, you feel the same way about me like I feel for you. Kiss you when I... I feel like kissing you. I can't do this. I know you want it too. So what is this program about? Uh, it's a short-term trading program set up by technical partners in Germany. You know, more like a precondition to give us a contract to service their 
Mm. Engineering facilities here in Nigeria, so I just want to be sure. <laughs> you know what you're doing. So Stephen is coming with you. Uh, this is essentially for for engineers. You know, he basically just makes the contact while I just take it from there. Okay. Yeah. What am I forgetting? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me just drop you before you miss your flight. Hey, baby. You know I'm going to miss you, right? I'm huh? going to miss you too. I want you to promise me, baby, that... that you will take care of yourself for me. Huh? Of course I will take care of myself. <laughs> I promise to be a good girl. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, thanks for <laughs> my jacket. Ah.
a little sister. I don't know how I am. I don't know how I am. The house is so empty. I'm so lonely. I can't find my daughter. Sister, please. When are you coming to stay with me? Even if it's one or two days. Please, before I go crazy, please. You are traveling again. Oh God, sister, please. Before you travel, just come and stay with me, please. And You're not coming. So don't let me go crazy in this house. <laughs> Everywhere is empty and I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, help me, help me, help me find my daughter. God, help me find my daughter. God, help me find my daughter. I don't know, God, help me to find my daughter. I don't know what else to do. God, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Uh, 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 come here, madam. It's, 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 it's not as you think. It's not as you think. Your services are not satisfactory. If my husband was alive, he would terminate your services immediately. Sit down, mother. Sit down, mother. You see, it's, it's all logistic problems. Okay? This job has been done. It's just a matter of transmitting it properly. Okay? There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Please sit down. Nothing sit down. to worry about? That the rent of almost half of the estate is uncounted for. Papa, what sort of logistic problem are you talking about, manager? If you people are incapable of managing those assets, let me know so I could look elsewhere. No, 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 it hasn't come to that, madam. Okay, we've been here a long time and we have never disappointed. Like I told you, it's about logistic problem. You see, the rent for that length of period has been accounted for. It's just for the officer in charge to forward the documents uh, to your office. That's all. Okay? okay. Manager, please, please get it sorted out. Just please. calm down. I will. I please. assure you. Before you leave this place, you're going to go with the, with the document, okay? okay? I'm really sorry about that. Uh, come on, we've been in business for a long time and uh, we've never <laughs> failed. We have great reputation. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you care for? Tea or coffee? Don't worry yourself. Just get it done. Don't, don't worry. I call for somebody to get the job done now. Um, Jesus. What's that? Mm. Oh What's my that? God. Can you imagine? My seat is all wet. By a cleaner. It's the same thing I'm oh. complaining about. My God. Staffing. Personnel. It's so frustrating to do business in this part of the world. Can you imagine one poor rated girl that we engaged here just to assist her? Coming here to mess things up. She's always angry. She's always, 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 always lousy with her job. What do you do? If you suck her now, they will say, oh, 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 oh. Please, manager, just, just do something. And... Hello? Yes. Please, let me have the cleaner in my office right now. I said right now. Thank you. It's so frustrating doing business in this part of the world. Come here, come here, come here. Madam Cleaner. Sir. Why did you have to mess up my seat? That look at my whole body. It's all wet. What's the meaning of this? Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I haven't finished working now. I wasn't expecting you this early. What, what did you just say? Come, come, come here, come here. Come over here. Come over here. You messed my seat up. I, come on, come, come closer. Come on, see. Come on, take a look. 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 Are you are you are you mad? What's your problem? What? Yes, I give it to her. Fulola! My God! Oh. Excuse me. Hello, what are you talking about? That's my daughter! No, 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 I'm mistaken, man. Hey, hey, hold on, madam. That's a poor little girl with people from the gutter. What are you talking about? How can she be your, your daughter? Hello, madam. What, what, 
What's going on? Okay, um, uh, look, I've been traveling a lot with K plus work and all no, of that. No, Daddy. Hey, she, she, she really just just abandon us. I didn't like abandon that. you. No, 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 no. I've been working. Okay, look, I'll come back home very soon and I'll spend time with you. No, Daddy, you? no. Hey, look, listen, listen, okay. I have some money here. You guys take it. Go and no, buy. No, Daddy, no, no. No, go and buy ice cream biscuit. No, you like Daddy, it? No. Hey, hey, look, listen, 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 no. listen. No. Listen, go and buy something and take no, it. No, Daddy, no. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, um, <laughs> your friend's kids, yes, no, it's our daddy. What, what she's trying to say is, no, it's our daddy. I know it's another mommy. Wow, um, it's not what it looks like. Do you understand? Evelyn, Evelyn, can you just listen to me for a second? A minute. Leave me alone! Evelyn, devil. Evelyn, Evelyn, look, I am not a devil. Can you just keep quiet, stand and listen to me? Just Why quiet? didn't you tell me you were married? Why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me the cleaner was your wife? Because I am not married. I am single. She is single. We are single. Oh, God. Why are all men the same? Lies, cheat! Evelyn. Are you going to lie about your children too? No. I love them. They're my children. Evelyn. Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn listen to me, okay? If you walk up on me, I would hang myself. And I mean it. I, I'll kill myself. I give you my heart. I give you my life. I give you my body. I give you my heart. I almost gave you my lifetime. Look, and I, yet you couldn't look me in the face to tell me who you are. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Donald. My God will judge you. I swear my God will judge you. Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn, 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 look, listen, listen. Let me tell you my story. Let me tell you everything. And if you do not believe me after that, then I would go. Just listen to me, please. Please. Since you managed to finish secondary school, it has been from one misconduct to the other. Now, it is pregnancy. I want you. I warned you, but you said I was new old school. Now, look at you with your new school. Shut up, you rebellious child. Go and live with whoever has put you in this shameful condition and never return to this house again. I disown and disinherit you from this moment for heaping this shame on me. Now, get out. She's the only daughter. Before I open my eyes, get out of this house. And... Get out. And you, this woman, you know that you did not give me a male child. If I ever get to know 
or here that you went looking for this disgrace of a child, you will return to your parents' house at some moment. Hey. I swear, I mean it. She's the only daughter. Don't tell me Hold on. Hold on. So you are on your phone by 10 p.m. and I don't have food on my table. ask if you're my wife. Mario, right, let me remind you of something because it seems like you are forgetting too soon. I provide the food that you eat in this house. I provide the clothes that you wear. I provide everything for you. And let me remind you, when your father turned his back on you, I accepted you in my own house. What house? No, what house are you talking about? Look, Maria, I have never laid my hands on any woman. Don't be the first woman I would lay my hands on. Don't insult me. I want to understand the house that you're talking about. Is it this one? Is it this, this, this trash? Eh? Is it this, this cave that I'm living in? Is this what you call house? Don't 
people that have you seen my father? You have no father. Have you seen my father? You have no father. Your father disowned you. All you have left is me and your children. I gave you. Say on that. That's everything. Well done. I thought you had something sensible to tell me. You sweet talk that poor naive girl into stopping school. Got her pregnant and you here claiming to be the good one. Hey look, Evelyn, it's not exactly... You messed up her life and you want to mess up mine too, Abby? Imagine how stupid I would look in front of Maria and Ben. Can you at least just listen to what, what we am coming? How do I console myself that all this while I thought I knew my best friend, but I didn't know him? Evelyn, that is my past. You gave me a future. And there is no past without a future. History! Listen to me. It is over. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. You are evil.
don't ignore me, Fumi. I'm so, so sorry. Please. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I know you are mad at me, and you have every reason to be. Please. I'm even ashamed of myself. I lost a daughter once. I'll do anything to keep her this time. Please. is dead. He died eight months ago. This information is supposed to make me forget everything you guys put me through. Please, check the next call. Please, I'm sorry. Please. I searched for you everywhere. There was no way or no place to look at you. I need my daughter back. Oh, you need your daughter back. You need your daughter back because your husband is dead. Your all and all, your everything is gone. Now you realize you have a daughter somewhere. <laughs> she should come back now and feel the vacuum. The emptiness in your mansion. The absence of your loving husband who you cherish. I started looking for you from the first day you left the house. But you blacked me out. I didn't know where to go to. I didn't know who to oh, go. Just hold it, just hold it. <coughs> I needed you. I know. I needed you to be my mother. To stand up for me. <laughs> something. Protest, maybe. But what did you do? You just stared from behind him while he threw me out like a leper. Mother, please, just leave my house. Leave my house right now because you're starting to open old wounds and trust me, you do not want to perceive the pungent odor. So how long are you going to punish me for that? You know your father. I was also a victim of his high-handedness. Please. He forbade me from ever looking for you. Yes, I tried. I searched for you everywhere. But you blacked me out. You didn't also do well, did you? You searched for me after the damage was done. You started the damage in the first place after all my warnings. Oh. <laughs> Maria, I'm sorry. Whatever had happened, I need you back. I want my daughter back. Please. Mother, you people threw me out of the house and into the street with nothing. I had nothing to survive on. <laughs> how many of my mates can I stand up to? Tell me how many. Oh, my God. whole life is ruined. <laughs> Mother, I hide when I see my mates like some thief running from being caught. Mother, please just go, just go. It's better late than never. Thank God you are alive and well. Please come back. I need my daughter back. Please. I can't. Me. Mother, please just leave. Please just go. What happened? Junior spoiled my dog. Junior. What did you do? Oh, my children are alive! <laughs> <laughs> my grandchildren are alive! Oh, my grandchildren are alive! Oh, my grandchildren are alive! It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
hate you so much, Dora. I hate you so much, Dora. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Hello, hello, sweetheart. I miss you too. Tomorrow? So should I get you from the airport? Okay, I will be waiting for you. I love you too. Bye. This valuation. Okay. It's quite complex. So what is stopping you from asking him? Nothing. It's just he and I don't really get along too well. And I know that once you just tell him, he'll do it straight. Hmm? He will do anything to please you. What are you insinuating? <laughs> Nothing. Just help me tell him. Listen, Donald and I are just friends. He's like a brother to me and I'm like a sister to him. Nothing major. Hmm. Brother and sister, and deal with it. Don't be silly, Rose. <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm cheating on my husband? Uh, it's just a joke now. Hmm? See, the truth is, I, I never had female friends when I was growing up. Most of my friends were guys. And besides, I don't like all these girls, Shakara and Wahala. Mm, uh, they're both saying the heck. same thing. We are not saying the same thing, girl. Uh, it's OK. Mm? I'm sorry. Just I'm not too comfortable with men that hang around married women. Now you, Sabi, listen, you better find ways to go and contact him yourself because I'm not doing it again. Mm -hmm. After this time, you will give him this time. I will. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I talk about you. Mm -hmm. and the reason why I always call you mm -hmm. the next boss. <laughs> <laughs> You like her, eh? I love them. 
Yeah. You know, I saw this in a mall and you, you, you know you like bright colors. I know. <laughs> I, just, I just I just too. Yeah, well, I try, you know, fashion wise, I yeah. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. I love you. Come on. You know I'll go to the end of the world for you. I know. Right. But by the way, let me just update you quickly. It's good news all the way. Wow. Great. You know the contract we've been pursuing? The reason I traveled? Mm -hmm. We got it. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got it. And, and then, and then now this is an icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. Through a friend that I met in Germany, mm -hmm. there's another company approaching our company, okay, saying that they want us to, you know, handle supply maintenance for them for three years. And as we speak, they've made a deposit of 70%. <sighs> Yes. You don't mean it. <laughs> oh, I am so happy. <laughs> we are rich. Yes, we are getting there, baby. We are getting there. I just want you to know that I will make it up to you, all right? I know I haven't been around you as much as you would want, but I will make it up to you, all right? So no more late nights, no more quarrels, no more anxiety, no more traveling constantly and leaving you all by yourself. Your husband is going to be here and then love you all the way. Okay. Oh my God, this is like a dream come true. I promise I will make it up to you too. Thank you, baby. And let me tell you something, huh? By this time next year, mm -hmm. you, my wife, mm -hmm. all right, will be running your own company, funded by me. That way, you don't have a boss. You are joking. Ordering you around. You are joking. Telling right? you where to stand, where not to stand. All right, so you don't have to jump up by four thirty a.m. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So you get to run your own business and be your own boss, baby. Huh? <laughs> Love you. You are the queen of my heart, darling. You are the king of my heart. What won't I do for you? I've missed you. Miss you more. Maybe you should. Yeah, maybe we should, you know, you know, find a bedroom or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. You know, my tank is full, right? Huh. I, I'm just saying, I mean, me, it's been two months. Let I mean. me help you upload it. Then. Uh, I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, right up to you. Okay, I'll just help you take this. Oh, we must look Keep yes. walking. I've been having bad dreams for the past three days, I think. Sorry, sorry. Just, uh, just might be malaria, you know, but it's... Yeah, hello, Steve. Yeah, good morning. How are you today? Alright, fine. I, I, I called to remind you of um, our meeting with these people today. Did you remember to, to send a reminder to them? Hey, doctor. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, yeah, hello, doc. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> How is everything? Yeah, hello, Collins. Congratulations, my man. C congratulations about what? She's pregnant. <laughs> Who's pregnant? Your wife is pregnant, of course. Yeah. When you just take your mind off it, like when you least expect it, boom, it happens. Yeah, you can say that again. I, uh, I am happy. Of course, of course, I'm happy. Of course, I'm happy. Uh, um, doctor, um, how long is this pregnancy now? Uh, we will need a scan to determine that. Um, from what I know, it's still very early, so it's about five or six weeks. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. Queens. Oh, okay. Hello, Collings. Yeah, Doctor, yeah, it's me again. Um, please, um, can I ask you a favor? Have you told my wife about the pregnancy yet? 
No, 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 not yet. Can you not tell her that I'm already aware of this pregnancy? Is there any problem? Oh, no, 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 nothing serious at all, Doctor. I, um, you know, I just want to, you know, pretend that I am surprised by the time she breaks the news to me. That, that's all. Surprise, surprise. It's okay. I'll do that for you. Oh, thank you very much, Doctor. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Do you have a great day. You're welcome. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Is Dr. O.K. around? Yes, he's right in his office. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome, Mrs. Collins. Thank you. Just sit down. How are you feeling now? Um, a bit better. But I was feeling nauseous at the office. I, I usually throw up when I'm sick. That's very okay. We don't need to control it now since it's a very good symptom. I... I don't understand, doctor. Ma, you're pregnant. <gasps> I am pregnant? Yes. You're pregnant. I used the blood sample for the test. I just needed to be sure before I made any drug prescription. Are you not happy about it? Um, yes, um, I, am, I am very happy. Uh, it's just that I wasn't expecting it. It's okay. I understand. Uh, here's the result. Um, Doctor. Yes. Please don't tell my husband about it yet. Okay, any problem? No, I... I, I want to be the first to tell him. I, I want to surprise him. Sure, I understand that. Thank you so much. I will be back for Antinental and other things. That's a perfect decision. Okay. Okay, you have a nice day. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Six weeks pregnant? Oh my god. Donald has finished me. Hey. hey. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Fine. So did you find time to see the doctor today? Yes, I did. Um, he said it's cholera. No, malaria. Malaria. Malaria? Yes. And, uh, and a bit of fever and typhoid. Just malaria. Yes, um, he gave me drugs and I took them. I'm, I'm fine. It's okay. You'll be. You'll be all right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let me help you. Would you? No, it's. He left your bag. Yeah, uh, Moses would get it. I'll just um, go upstairs and rest. Okay.
Donald, I invited you for this meeting. My daughter has told me all that had happened between both of you. She's bitter about it and about her life. But I've talked to her like a mother. I am happy and grateful to God that she's alive and well and even has children, my grandchildren. In all that had happened, they are my consolation. So I want my daughter to move on in her life. And I want every issue settled as quickly as possible. Donald, my question to you is very simple. Do you still love my daughter? And do you want to marry her? Yes. Yes, I, I, I love her. I still love her and I, I, I never stopped loving her. You can ask her here. She was the one who rejected me. I see. But you didn't answer my question if you want to marry her. Yes. I am ready to marry her. I want to marry her. But it's only if she wants the same thing too. My dear, you heard him. I have asked you this question before, and I'm going to ask you again. Do you still love Donald? And do you want to marry him? Yes, Mom. I still love him. But as for marriage, I can't say anything until he proposes. Wow. <laughs> Donald, you heard what she said. The ball is now in your court. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. Afternoon. How are you? Fine. Fine. What's happening? I. Oh, shh. Hey. I'm sit down. Hey. Am I missing something? <laughs> Nothing really. Um. Okay. So, mom, Donald proposed to me, and I said yes. So, do I get a hug too? Oh, come here. Oh, my. Oh, congratulations, you too. Thank you. Guess what? Yes, what? I'm already making plans for your wedding. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes. yes, and it's going to be out of this world. Really? Yes, I'm celebrating my lost and found daughter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. She's her only daughter. And everything we own belongs to her. And now to you too. <laughs> this house, the estates, the cars, the businesses, everything. Oh my God. I'm so happy. For me, what are you standing there for? Go get something for us to drink and oh, eat and uh, celebrate. Yeah, okay, sure. uh, um, uh, no alcohol. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know why I call her for me? No. <laughs> I named her for me in memory of my late best friend. I'm not a Yoruba woman, but I love that name so much. Yeah. <laughs> my little secret. Yeah. <laughs> I should uh, call her for me too. <laughs> well, give her your own name. Yeah. <laughs> Miraculous things happen. <laughs> oh my God. So happy. <laughs> Thank you.
My niece, my my cousin, no friend. What? No, he was better than your husband, right? No, no. Wait. I'm listening. What have you got to say? Hey, hey, Stop yes, listening. he's my cousin. What have you got to say? My. My, my, no, my, my friend. You were making out with your cousin. Oh, no. uh, he, he you just... Okay. Shut up! You were making out with your friend. Mm -hmm. In my house. On our matrimonial bed. You deserve to die. No, no. Collins, wait. Wait. <laughs> You know, I fondly remember the first time that I saw you. <laughs> ah, the first time that I laid eyes on you, Evelyn. You struck me like a thunderbolt and I got stuck. <laughs> ah. I got hooked. Up till this moment, but I am sorry to tell you that it's... It's all coming to an end. I am sorry, baby. What are you talking about? Evelyn. Yes. Since you and I have been married as a couple, have I ever given you a reason to doubt my faithfulness and commitment to this marriage? Have I ever betrayed you? Have I ever done anything that will put you to shame? Have I ever done anything that will break your heart? No. I think that I have done everything that I have done. All of my hard work, everything that I have done, my sweat, my custom traveling, my working late, all because I wanted you to stand head and shoulders all because I needed to put a roof over my head. All because I needed to give you the best. I'm standing right in front of you right now and I'm asking myself, do you deserve it? And the answer is no. You do not deserve it. 
What are you driving at? What am I driving at? Huh? What am I driving at? Help! Help! For how long have you been carrying that nonsense in your stomach? Down, down, down. For how long? the one responsible for that bastard that you're carrying. No. Huh? No. Who is the idiot that you opened your legs for? Um, my... Oh, shut up! I don't, I don't even want to hear you talk. You repulse me. You are nothing but a filthy pig. How could you? I hungered for you, Evelyn. I wanted you. You knew that I'll be gone for two months. Yet, you pushed me away. I didn't know that you were saving yourself from that stupid wretch. Oh, no, you don't. Please forgive me. It was the work of the devil. It was the devil. I didn't mean to cheat. Because you, in connivance with the devil, thought that you could foist that pregnancy on me. Right? No. Ah, Evelyn. No. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Evelyn, the most beautiful woman that I have. How could you reduce yourself to that? How is it possible that a toad? How is it possible that an eagle would descend so low as to eating from the rotten carcass of a toad? You are a disgrace to humanity. You repulse me. You know, this had happened two years ago. When I was much younger and I could not put my temper in check, I swear to God, you, have, have, you would have been lying still. I'm much older right now, and I would have damned the consequences. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your entire family and generation should be ashamed of you. Pack your things and leave me alone. Put your things together and leave me in peace. You have up to 12 noon tomorrow to pack your things and leave me in peace. I mean, if I come back from work and I still find you here. <coughs> I will shoot you. It's me,
I told you your smile is better than that frown. That frown thing you're doing. Look at this, okay? Can, can you compare this to your smile? Look at this, mama. Look at this picture, okay? I told her her smile is far much better, and she was, she was just, she kept, kept on boning. Look at this. This is a smile. <laughs> this is a smile. <laughs> smiling in yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. You know what? I should take a picture of both of you yes. before we go into the studio, and I would do a proper shoot. Okay. No, your hair. This one. Flip it to the back. Am I lost? My lean. Okay, yeah, that's this. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Donald's girlfriend I told you about. Evelyn? Donald. Evelyn, what is it? What do you want? Donald, I am pregnant for you. Oh my god. Oh, you must be joking. What do you mean you're pregnant? I have been thrown out of my marital home because of you. Are you happy now? <laughs> now that you succeeded in destroying my life. Donna, what is this woman talking about? Please! <laughs> Where do I pack my stuff? Because I have them all in my car. I can explain everything. I, I, I... No! Enough of this nonsense. You came into my family and destroyed our love, peace, and unity. My husband died a sad man just because of you. And now that God has brought us all together, you came with this because he is a useless gold digger. Yes. <sighs> Ma 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 Maria, don't, don't, don't use such words on me. I, I never Just shut up! Just shut up! And you! You intimidated me at the office. You treated me like a nobody, but I chose to overlook everything because I thought it was all in the past. And now you're back into your witchcraft! You know what? Both of you deserve each other. You're a wizard and you're a witch! Donald, I will be fine. I will get my life back. You destroyed my life, but I promise you I will get it back. I will go back to school. I will take care of my children. My mother will help me take care of my children. And don't need you. Why are you talking I like don't this? Need you're my fault. I did not have a hand in this. Shut up! I don't need you, and I hope you burn in hell, Donald. I hope you burn in hell. Thank you. 